Today I'm going to be discussing the strategy of questioning and I'm going to use this book, Her Story, 50 Women and Girls Who Shook Up the World by Katherine Halligan. Um, it's a really, really cool book. Um, I would say for like fourth or fifth grade or up and each few pages is about a different woman in history. Um, all these women can be related to American history or world history. Um, so basically today I'm going to read um, an excerpt, excerpt about Sacagawea. And what I really like about this book too is it's a lot of information but it chunks it with pictures and headings. So it's really good. Um, the bold headings for... Um, English language learners and just any students who are intimidated by a lot of writing at once. Um, so basically to do the strategy of questioning, you're gonna ask questions um, before or during the reading and you're kind of instructing students on how to ask their own questions when they're reading. And a one fun way that you can incorporate it, the strategy is by saying you're investigators. And there's a lot of different cute things you could do, like you could get magnifying glasses out, you know, you can um, be investigators and make it interesting. Um, and one cute idea I thought of was to play like a little intro before you're gonna be investigators. Um, you guys can hear the Law and Order music. So that would be something really fun to um, play the law and, order, law, law and order intro and then say, okay, we're gonna investigate. So the questions that we're looking for today are um, when we're reading about Sacagawea, is there anything upsetting, anything particularly um, you know, scandalous that you notice? And then another question would be, um, what made Sacagawea such a perfect guide? Um, so I'm not gonna read everything. But I'm gonna skip around a little bit because there's a lot. But early years, Sacagawea was born around 1788 to the chief of the Shoshone tribe of Native Americans. In the Rocky Mountains of what is now the state of Ohio, I mean, Idaho, when Sacagawea was around 11 years old, their village was raided by the Hidatsa tribe, who stole most of their horses and kidnapped Sacagawea. They went north too far for Sacagawea to attempt escape and too dangerous for her family to rescue her. At 15, she was sold to a French-Canadian trader, Toussaint Charbonnet, and became his wife. Um... The Lewis and Clark expedition began in May 1804 after reaching Hidatsa lands. The explorers needed an interpreter to help them buy horses from the Shoshone. Sacagawea got the job. She spoke Shoshone with the local tribes, then translated it into Hidatsa, which her husband, Charbonnet, translated into French and another explorer translated into English. This was complicated, but it worked. And something else made Sacagawea an ideal guide. She had a baby. This reassured any tribes they met that the explorers came in peace, for a war party would never have a woman in it, and especially not a woman with a baby. Sacagawea and tiny Jean Baptiste led the way along mountain trails she remembered from childhood. Many of the tribes they met had never seen a white person, but Sacagawea showed them that the explorers were to be trusted. When their boat nearly capsized, Sacagawea calmly rescued important papers. Lewis and Clark were impressed by the hardworking teenager. Praised as their pilot, she collected plants for food and medicine, keeping the explorers well-fed and healthy. So I'm gonna stop there, but um, basically, so if you had asked the question, was there anything that was upsetting to you? Um, her early life, she was kidnapped. She was forced into marriage at 15. So that is a point of discussion. For your students and then um, if we ask the question what made her the perfect guide it was that she had a baby so um, she let 
the tribes know that they were coming in peace. So, yeah. And then, um, you know, ideally, the students will be able to ask these questions to themselves before they read, but it's the questioning strategy on the book, Her Story. Thank you.